Hey guys, this is Evia Light Gaming and this is Michael. Uh, today we have a uh, Cons of Tarkir fat pack to open. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I actually am opening this after the booster box. I was expecting this to come in first, but that didn't happen. So I guess we can pretend if you want to go watch the uh, booster box after this one. If you haven't already seen it, then uh, we can pretend that this one came in before. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Let's see. Show you kind of what all comes in it. The little guidebook shows you all the cards in the set. Some cool little information in there. Get rid of this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy the little, uh, the little posters that come on the insides of all these so don't think I'll be able to get it all on the picture but it's pretty cool uh, as far as I can remember in the last few blocks at least this is the first fat pack where it was horizontal like that I could be wrong but I believe they were all uh, all vertical because most of them had the uh, had the planeswalkers in them or, or, or uh, pictures of the planeswalkers on them. So we got two of the cons of Tark here. Deck boxes here. Nothing left in there. We'll go ahead and put that over there. Then inside we've got a purple dice. Looks like a dark purple with the, uh, should have the cons of Tark here symbol. You can see it there. Go ahead and get these out. We've got our set of uh, lands here, along with the rest of the packs that come in it. I really like the land art in these. I don't know why, but they seem to go together really well. Like you can see, uh, uh, what is it? I think it's the parapet, the monster cards, the defender. It's in a lot of the uh, pictures. Actually, I think. I think this may be it right here, but or there may be several. I'm not not a hundred percent sure. Oh yeah, I forgot we get the rules reference card. We're gonna go ahead and start opening these up. Seriously though, if you haven't seen the uh, booster box opening, I highly suggest going over there and looking at it. It was pretty nice. Swift kick, Sage Eye Harrier. Weave Fate, Bloodfire Expert, Hooting Mandrels, Disowned Ancestor, Archer's Parapet, Speak of the Devil, Rite of the Serpent, Jungle Hollow, Rakshasa's Secret, Brave the Sands, or uh, yeah, yeah, Sands, let's see, Roar of Challenge, Despise, and a Segu Mauler. I believe that's how we started the last one. Or, or the booster box, I mean. All right, pack number two is going to shred in my hands. We have Tygam Scheming, Barrage of Boulders, Sidisi's Pet, Awaken the Bear, Abomination of Gadul, Mystic of the Hidden Way, Summit Prowler, Rugged Highlands, Kill Shot. Our first uh, uncommon is Goblin Slide, Kiru Bloodsucker, War Name Aspirant, and Trail of Mystery. I think that's a really good one. Oh, and a uh, foil salt road patrol. Okay. Shatter, Firehoof Cavalry, Wetland Sandbar, Dragon Scale Boon, Molting Snakeskin, Thornwood Falls, Jeskai Wind Scout, Snowhorn Rider, Act of Treason, Wind Scarred Crag. Stubborn Denial for our first uncommon. Teamer Charm. Warden of the Eye. And Savage Knuckle Blade. That one's pretty cool. I know that that one's one of the better uh, Teamer cards. Or I believe so, just because of all the stuff that it does. Let's go ahead and get rid of these last two like I did in the box. Oh man. Okay, Scaldkin, Arrow Storm, 
Mardu Horde Chief, Sidisi's Pet, Alpine Grizzly, Blood Chief Mentor, Scoured Barons, Jeskai Student, Obzon Banner, Embodiment of Spring, Chief of the Scale for our first, Secret Plans, Mardu Rough Rider, and Siege Rhino. Well, that sucked. Okay. Rush of Battle. Disdainful Stroke. Swift Kick. Sage Eye Harrier. Awaken the Bear. Molting Snake Skin. Mardu Banner. Naturalize. Blossoming Sands. Master the Way for our first uncommon. Sultai Flayer. Set Adrift. And Ghost Fire Blade. And a Hollow Sage of the Inward Eye. Cool. Hollow Rare. That's our second foil in one fat pack, so that's not bad. Wouldn't mind seeing a mythic, but I know that uh, there's even less chances in a fat pack than in a booster box. Mardu Horde Chief, Glacial Stalker, Shatter, Firehoof Cavalry, Dutiful Return, Savage Punch, great artwork, Mardu Banner, Highland Game, Swiftwater Cliffs, Kiru Dreadmaw, Mistfire Weaver for our first uncommon. I think that's our first one of those actually. Gurmog Swiftwing, Despise, and look at that. Bloodstained Mire. Well, I mean, it's not a mythic, obviously, but uh, it's better than most of the mythics, honestly. Well, in my opinion, at least. Excellent. So we got one fetch land. That's uh, I've seen a whole lot of people get uh, fat packs without a single fetch land in them. So I'd say we are on the plus side already. Salt Road Patrol, Scaldkin, Feed the Clan, Bitter Revelation, Force Away, Bring Low, Rugged Highlands, Jeskai Student, Abomination of Gadul. Dazzling Ramparts for our first uncommon. Obzon Charm. Watcher of the Roost. And Anna Fins of the Foremost. And a hollow rush of battle. So three foils. A fetch land and a mythic so far. And we still got one pack. But um, yeah. I think. Uh, oh no. We've, we've got two left. But uh, I love our luck so far. This is excellent. Erase, Tagami's Scheming, Trumpet Blast, Inok Bonkin, Mardu Skull Hunter, Feed the Clan, Unyielding Krumar, Highland Game, Tranquil Cove, Rakshasa's Secret, Sultai Flayer, Water Whirl, Nomad Outpost, and Obzon Ascendancy. So now we'll move on to our last pack. I am, once again, loving what we got in this one. Honestly, if we did this well in this one, I almost wish that I had just gotten a lot more of these in the booster box. Well, no. No complaint about that booster box. There were some excellent pulls. Salt Road Patrol, Scaldkin, Hooting Mandrels, Rugged Highlands, Kill Shot, Sultai Banner, Force Away, Wind Scarred Crag, Bring Low, River Wheel Aerialist for our first uncommon, Become Immense, Tusk Guard Captain, what do we think, another fetch land? Uh, no, but it's a Rakshasa's Death Dealer and a Hollow Watcher of the Roost. So I think we ended up with what, five foils out of um, maybe four. I tell you what, let me, uh, I'm going to get stuff ready and I'll show you the, uh, the final product. Okay, we're back with the summary. Let's, uh, we'll just go through the uncommons real quick. If it will even, there we go. I'm really just going to shoot through these. We ended up with four, uh, foils in the long run. So almost half the packs were foils. These are the uh, rares, just the regular rare. Well, come on, regular rares without uh, 
out these bad boys. Let's see, well, maybe bad girls, I guess. On a Fenza and Bloodstained Mire. So we got our Fetch and we got a Mythic. It's a lot better than a lot of fat packs. And then our foils, we actually got, uh, let's see, sorry for not organizing these. We got a foil rare, foil uncommon, and two foil common cards. But um, all in all, this is a pretty great fat pack, I, th I believe. So um, if you guys have any ideas for future videos or if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to uh, leave a like and comment down below. And, uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I think we may actually be doing another Cons of Tarkir booster box coming up. So keep an eye out for that as well. If you guys um, enjoyed, then uh, once again, make sure to leave a comment. And we'll keep it coming. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day.